Hello Vet Buddies, my name is Sam Ayasa Abdul Karim from 2DVMB. In this presentation, I am assigned to discuss to you about the breeder vaccination program. I would like to start the discussion with the question of whether or not your chickens should be vaccinated. So is chicken vaccination necessary? Proper vaccination is an essential part of a good poultry management program and for the success of any poultry operation. If the flocks would end up getting infected without getting vaccinated, they'll end up suffering as their bodies lack antibodies and other defense mechanisms to fight the disease. Vaccinating them will prepare them for instances when they may be exposed to a particular disease and their body will respond easily. However, keep in mind that no vaccination is 100% effective and that preventing disease in poultry requires more than just administering preventive vaccines. A vaccination program that is tailored to the needs of both the area and the individual is essential and to guarantee that the method is giving maximum protection, the results should be monitored. This could be done by ELISA testing or the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, a test that detects and measures antibodies in the flux blood. Vaccination programs must be periodically reviewed. Any adjustments to the time, additions, or deletions should be based on sound evidence. The vaccine should be stored, mixed, and administered according to the manufacturer's directions. It is also essential to keep accurate records of administration times and dates, manufacturer, serial number, and the expiration date for each vaccination use. To prevent the vaccination virus from spreading to other flocks, used and open vaccine containers should be burnt or disinfected. Before moving on to the table that provides the recommended vaccination schedule for broiler parents, there are various methods used to administer vaccines, so let us first review root abbreviations. First is the IO or the intraocular root or the administration of vaccine within the eye. IM, intramuscular root or the administration within a muscle, it is commonly injected into the breast muscle of chickens. PW or the drinking water administration, SC or the subcutaneous root where a vaccine is administered beneath the skin, IN, intranasal root which is the administration to the nose where a drug is to be breathed in and absorbed. And lastly, the wing web, administration on the skin on the underside of the wing web at the elbow. As you can see on the table, there is a serial number associated with the age of the chicken, the type of vaccination that will be used, its dosage, and the route by which the vaccine is administered to the flock. For a day-old chick, there are the Marex HVT vaccine cell associated with 0.2 ml subcutaneous root and the IB or the infectious bursa vaccine on arrival of chicks while releasing in brooder, which is optional, applied in intraocular root. And for the third, fourth, and fifth day, the tylosine treatment, which is also optional, applied to the flux drinking water. Allow me to proceed on the 23rd week where the second blood testing 100% and deworming is done. Also, the new Newcastle disease plus infectious bursal disease killed a vaccine with 0.6 ml intramuscular breast is applied. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for listening.